all right guys and welcome again and now uh, this after a new innovation today I should say this is my computer I'll just quickly show you what I've got here I built this myself with what I can afford with everything that I can afford it's got a bit of a gimmicky stuff on there but it's got lots of fans to keep it cool and today I'm going to talk to you about my graphics card is my main objective and trying to show you what I'm going to do with my graphics card today before I start I'll just show you what's happening so far so right now I'm running my computer in idle position and I'm getting about 1700 Hertz with about 46 degree in temperature now the problem is when I'm playing games the temperature seems to go up to about 83 and stay to about around about 80 ish and that's why I'm getting to be worried it is quite hot um, and this type of um, graphics card is very well known for that issue so here we go I'm going to show you what I've, I'm going to try to attempt to bring the temperature down how I will be doing it I've got some experimental things to do so straight away I've color coordinated my temperature of my GPU with my fans so straight away the noise has gone up a bit more and you can see it's gone to red and that is because it's hit 82 degrees on there now that is a problem working on 1800 Hertz it was 19 before but slightly cooler temperature gone up Hertz dropped frame rate is good and this is before even I started the game this is me just on the menu not even starting the game so that is a problem I do not like this and I'm going to see if I can fix it for right. now I'll open this up and I'll show you what this is this is a heat sink okay this is a heat sink with the heat sink I thought what do I need I'm going to need a fan to cool it down now thing is I didn't really measure it properly maybe I did get a small fan it's a very very small fan but it's a three pin fan and I'm hoping the wire is long enough to go where I need it to go so it's a three pin fan which will go on the top just to get enough flow now if this doesn't work I'm going to put a bigger fan on just to get more power to the um, and it comes with your screws and it comes with this as well for no reason but anyway um, so next bit is to do so now how am I going to put this now normally you can't just put this on top of the, the GPU especially if your GPU on the uh, opposite side that has got all the circuits in it so I am using a silicon pad heatsink which will go with the heatsink and this is the silicon pad I've got so so the experiment is basically putting the silicon pad on top of the GPU with the heat sink on top and let the heat literally just rise up and let the fan disperse the heat out completely so what I did um, I, as I said to you I'm going to leave the I'm just going to leave the edge a bit more than what I wanted so I can actually after I cut this out with a sharp Stanley knife I'm going to bring it back down to a bit more to where it needs to be okay so the plan is Keep the edge as much as possible. More um, hitting this. I'm going to just use a sharp. You have to use a sharp one because it's got plastic, and I'm hoping that you'll just cut through it quite easily. Keeping a level and flash against there. It seems to be going through quite nicely. Voila! There we go. So I'll just keep this for any other use that I might have. And now I've got the cutout just right, and put it right at the center just like that one thing I have to be careful of as I said is not the metal touch the GPU parts at all the silicon needs to be in the middle so so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the silicon on top of this first so I'm going to get this cleaned up with the alcohol thing so um, there's no hand marks or prints on there so what I've got here is I'm just using a normal um, you know screen protector I think some of them come with the alcohol thing on top. So I'm just going to get one of those. Just clean as much as possible. You don't need to do this, I don't think, but I'm just doing it for for my own sort of curiosity to see if they make any difference. So that's that done. Just wiping it clean. Dry off with the next one. I have plenty of this from over time having screen protectors and stuff, so just to get a dry cloth. And it's a long process, I'm hoping the video is not going to be too long, but 
Dry all off. Nothing left. Fold it again just to make sure there's nothing left so the silicon sits on there nicely. So, okay. What we've got now is we've got a nicely cut silicon. That's just literally going to go on the top. And I have to make sure it goes on nicely. So it doesn't matter which way it goes. As long as it goes on there nicely. So here we go. So I don't know if the one side is thicker than the other or not. But first take this off. So I'm just taking this peeling this off now. And it does become, so as soon as you take this off, it does become a bit more flexible. So you've got to be careful. Ah, I'll get this on there. All right, here we go. Then. Edge to edge. Very sticky. Push it in a bit more. Just making sure it guides itself down to the other end. Perfect. So there we go. The silicon is just probably air bubble in there. You want to get any air bubble out. See that? I didn't think of that, did I? The air bubble. So I'll probably just use the edge of the fan. Get any air bubble out. I don't think of the air bubble that might cause other problems as well but hopefully although there's plenty of contact on there it should disperse or raise the heat into the thermal pad into the exhaust here so basically so as you can see I've tried best that I can to keep it away from the circuits all right so this is it this is the test let's do this oh I was just going to leave this on top, but I'm going to have to find a way of screwing this on to the thing. But for now, I'm just going to leave it on top to see what that does. The question is, um, before I put this on, where do I put it on with the main bit? So you can see this, the uh, processor is just in the middle there. So that's where my concentration will be. And there's some bit more stuff that I need to cover up with this silicon. That's so going to plonk it on top and put the fan on top. Uh, temperature went up to 82 degrees, so that fan on the top made a big difference. But as I said, when gaming, it won't make a difference at all because the temperature will go up because I'm using a lot more. So, uh, this is the bit I've got to take the... <sighs> Keeping it on there, it's a hard bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the machine off first before I do anything at all. Shut it down, take the power off completely because there's a little light here. I don't know if you can see for the GPU. Um, so I'm going to do that and I'm going to show you how I'm putting it on in a second. I'm just checking to see if it clears anything at all on top. Yeah, it seems to be quite good. So I can just put it back as possible and just put a plonker right on top of. So I'm going to stuff on these bits here to about that bit there. I'll do that. The first thing to do is take the plastic bit off from there. This is the hard bit because it doesn't really come off that easily. Keep able to push it back down. There it goes. Down again. So what I'm doing is I'm pushing it back down and then pulling it again. That way there's no little bubble show. There's a little bubble show in there anyway. Get the bubbles out. And that's taken off now. Okay, so that's ready. It's a little bubble right in the middle. It's good. You can just about see it. But lighting isn't great on here, so this is I've got to be careful. I'm going to go straight down as far as I can go. And then plonk this down centrally with everything else that's there. down as much as I can. The problem is there are four screws there that's holding the bottom bit up or the, the cooler on there and they're slightly raised up so I'm hoping that with the soft I mean it does need a bit more pressure down if I could but I don't think I'm able to do that too. Anyway so that's on there now. Right here we go. So what I've got there is basically the heat sink, heat sink with a fan on top, pushing the air down into the heat sink and cooling off. And I've also put some 
gaffer tape on top just for the air to go in and then flow, flow out either, either side to get the heat out that way, that the exhaust. Uh, the test I made right now is basically to uh, see when I'm playing the game. All right, good news. I've managed to get the temperature down much lower. I haven't done much really. I literally just stress test, played a game for a few hours and the temperature literally kept down and I kept the uh, door of my computer case closed as well and kept the temperature way below 75 and with a good stress test it showed they yet this does actually work and I'm quite pleased with the fact it's working for me. So this seems to have worked and um, hopefully it works for you as well. If you've tried something similar, there's many other ways of doing it. So thanks for watching and take care.